For more than a century, gold mining was the number one industry in the northern Black Hills. Welcome to the Black Hills Mining Museum, dedicated to the preservation of that rich heritage. Welcome to the Black Hills Mining Museum. My name is Cindy. I'd like to give you a brief tour of the Black Hills Mining Museum and the mining throughout. What we'll see downstairs is how uh, basically the evolution of mining, how they started out in the beginning and mechanized towards the end. And we'll be going down 17 stairs. Please use the handrail as we go down. Mining done from 1876 to 1888 was done with one miner, one stoke. Now a stope is a mining term for where you actually get the gold bearing ore. This miner has a four pound hammer and he's going to hammer the drill still into the rock. He's actually going to make a pattern of eight holes in a, about two feet deep and then put the dynamite in the holes, light the candle, light, light the fuse to the dynamite with his candle and hightail it around the corner to get out of the Blow cabin. it up. And they work 12 hours a day making $3.50 a day. This is called Big single money. jack mining. Vent bags. Uh, vent bags were used to cool off the air temperature on the lower levels of the mine. The lowest level of the mine, which was the 8,000 foot level, was 138 degrees Fahrenheit. Really? They had to cool off that air temperature and use the vent bag. They did so by using an air conditioned system that was like 1,400 air conditioning. Why was it so hot? I would think that underground it would be cooler. No, if you're in a cave, it's a nice 48 to 50 degrees. But if you go down 150 feet, that temperature goes up one to two degrees. That was a lame question. If, no, <laughs> it is not. It is not a lame question. If you get you know, go down from the or go from the surface down 8,000 feet, it's risen one to two degrees every 150 feet. Interesting. So they had to cool that air temperature down with that vent bag system. They could get it down to a nice cool 98 degrees. Now you said your husband was a miner. Yes. And he only got a nick on his finger in 20 some years of mining, is mm -hmm. that right? 27, wasn't it one pinky? Yep, yep. That's one impressive. time had to go up on the, on the, to the surface, made him go to the hospital for that. And all those years, that's, that's mm -hmm. very impressive. Yes. Broke a lot of rock. How much rock do you think you broke, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> tons and tons and tons. Diamond drilling. This is how they actually sample the rock before they send the miners into the areas with diamond drills. Now the reason they call it a diamond drill machine because it actually has seven and a half carats of industrial diamonds on the bit. They have to use diamonds to cut through the rock because the rock here is so hard. It's called silica schist. It's eight times harder than granite. And of course that's what Mount Rushmore is made out of. You betcha. Diamond drills have a hollow drill steel so solid rock core samples do come out of that drill steel similar to what we see here. And the core trays down below are filled up with the core samples sent up to the assay office. The geologist will tell the company if there's any gold bearing ore in this area. Thank you for the tour. Very informative. Thank you for coming, John. I appreciate you coming. This was just a basic tour. If you'd like the full tour, learn a little more, come to the Black Hills Mining Museum in Leeds, South Dakota, right on Main Street. See you soon.